You don't know me. What's up, guys? Jared here again with the best part of waking up. Dude, you gave me the wrong copy again. Take two. With the best part of the week, movie review time! So yeah, The Glass Castle. Originally, I had no intentions of seeing this movie. I thought it was a smaller indie, I hadn't seen any trailers, and it just didn't interest me. But then I got a text from my mom asking if I was gonna review The Glass Castle. She had read the book, she's part of a book club, blah blah blah. Anyways, I couldn't let her down. So I decided to go see it, and it's a powerful, but delightful movie. So let's get some backstory here. The Glass Castle is based on the 2005 memoir written by Jeanette Walls by the same name. It recounts the memories of her and her family growing up through the 60s into the late 70s, early 80s. Her family is poverty stricken, squatting from house to house, trying to avoid bill collectors. You soon find out that the parents are just basically children with no plan, just drifting through life. The father, Rex Walls, is just a terrible alcoholic. Mountain Goat! He loves his family, tries to be a good guy, but is always drawn back to hitting the bottle. It's just insane to think about the things these kids went through. They don't have a proper education until middle school or high school. They had to live in the back of a moving truck. The father spends all of their money on booze. The grandparents were rude and perverts. And the father provided them a lifetime of empty promises. This movie made me feel a whole wide range of emotions. Laughing at the opening scene with Jeanette Cook hot dogs and then lighting herself on fire. Whoa, 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 what? Eh, the way that they framed that scene, it was just very lighthearted. Disgusted by the way that Rex basically pimps out his daughter to win a few extra bucks in a pool game. And inspired by the father's empty promises of the glass castle and never settling. Do whatever you want to do in life and it doesn't matter what other people say, just as long as you're happy. I think this movie hit all of the emotional beats because of the cast. Brie Larson, Naomi Watts, and Woody Harrelson all do a fantastic job. I feel like Woody Harrelson captured the loving but selfish alcoholic father role perfectly. He loved his family, but in reality, he was just a huge drunken dick. Giving his kids inspiration to live by, but that was about it. I mean, just words, nothing else. By the end of it all, you can see that he's a beaten man who knows he's done them wrong. Brie Larson is slowly becoming one of my favorite actresses, and this movie just proves why she's so good. Another standout was Ella Anderson, who played the young Jeanette. She held her own when she shared the screen with the bigger actors, showing the emotion and determination of a young girl who realized that she needs to grow up and basically become an adult at a very young age. Though this movie was based on a book, I'm sure that there was quite a few scenes that they could couldn't show or get too in depth with. Personally, I have not read the memoir, but that's my assumption. I would assume that the movie briefly touches on things like poverty and abuse a lot less so than the book does. Either way, I enjoyed the way it was filmed, going back and forth between present day and childhood memories. Overall, The Glass Castle is a powerful real life movie about an insanely dysfunctional family that somehow finds a silver lining. There's moments of happiness, darkness, hardships, and delight. With Woody Harrelson as the drunk father, <clears throat> you're not leaving this house, and Brie Larson as the determined daughter, their dynamic throughout the film is one of love and hate. I'd recommend checking out The Glass Castle. Like I mentioned earlier, I had no intentions of seeing this movie, but I was pleasantly surprised. And not gonna lie here, this one made me tear up a bit. Ha! Gay! What did you think of The Glass Castle? Was it the dysfunctional book-to-movie adaptation you were hoping for? Or did the memoir treat the story better than the movie? I want to hear about it in the comments below. As always, you can find me on the social medias at Jared Buckendall on both Twitter and Instagram. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Until next time, I'll see you later. Peace.